It's time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host brother Oscar York the Voice on your Spreaker platform, where we chatting about the Word and from the Word, putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. God's grace and mercy brought us through. Praise, praise the Lord. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you ready, my friend, to rejoice in the Lord this morning with your Host here, Brother Oscar, your love voice this morning. I am so glad to be with you on this wonderful, wonderful day that the Lord has blessed us with. I really am so glad to be able to bring this program on to your listening ears, wherever you may be, in your home, on your job, jogging, in the gym, or whatever you're doing. I am so glad that you're having your ears on and that you are listening and that we are able to put that all important, that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian day to day so that you can walk with your head up and proud to be a Christian. Amen, amen. In a world that you know, don't respect us as Christians as much anymore. But it's just, we should be proud to name the name of Christ. Amen. And uh, a amen. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> amen. <laughs> and amen, amen. Oh, yes, my friend, the Lord has blessed us all with another wonderful, wonderful day. We that are on the top soil and not the soil on top of us, and we that are on this side of heaven with another beautiful day given all of us another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right and to walk closer and closer with him. 
All right, all right, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. And amen. And my friend, if you live in the Dayton, Ohio area as I do, the weatherman says it is 60 degrees and hazy. 60 degrees and hazy. I believe we're getting something from the north that's coming down here, which is making everything so hazy this morning. But you know, my friend, it's just a blessing just to be alive. Regardless what's going on on the outside, God has created this beautiful day for you and for me. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. I know he woke me up this morning. I'm here. Though I have my aches and pains and struggle to walk, though I walk with a walker, but I'm here. And that is the beautiful thing about God loving you and me, because he sees and he provides. He is Jehovah Jireh. Yes, he is. Amen and amen. First of all, we would love to welcome all our new listeners to the program. If this is your first time listening in, we would love for you to know that you are our welcome guest. But not just only our welcome guest, but you are our honor guest. And we just want to thank you this morning for having your ears on. Amen. And a amen. Yes, we do. Just want to thank you this morning. For having your ears on. And my friend, if you love what we are about here, about <laughs> about here, or oh, chatting from the word, share our program. Share our program. If you believe that the gospel of Jesus Christ needs to be spread abroad, hey, share us, share us with your neighbors, loved ones, kin folks and everyone else that need to hear the saving power of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Share us with your friends on Facebook, click it on Instagram, uh, TikTok, or wherever you may be on the internet. Share, share, and share. And my friends, we hope that you do that. We hope that you shout it from the mountaintop. Shout it from the rooftop. Shout the name of Jesus. That Jesus is alive and well. And he won't, uh, he won't basically the whole world be in him and then be saved. But you know what? We know that's not going to happen. So what we need to do is spread the gospel anyway. Regardless who may come, who may not come. Because it is God that gives the increase. Amen, Brother Oscar. A, a man. And we hope that you find our program a good program. We hope that you can support our program with a financial gift. Amen. Amen. If you have not turned in your contributions as of yet, you can do it at PayPal.com. Put in Brother Oscar's email address, OscarYork3443 at gmail.com, or you can go to Zell, Z E L L. Ian again put in Brother Oscar's email address, OscarYork3443 at gmail.com. We hope you can do it today. We would love to thank you in advance for your generous gift. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, our announcer. Yes, yes, yes. We would love to remind you that you are listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap, that snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian walk. Hey, hey, yes, we are. Snap, crackle, and pop.
Hey, 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 wait a minute here. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, well, Brother Oscar with the truck and sound. That's when we do our roll call. Our roll call. And we just love to recognize you all that are really listening to us here or chatting from the word because our Brother Oscar would just love for you to know how much he loves you and appreciate you uh, for listening to us here on Chatting from the Word. We need listeners, yes we do, as many as we can get, amen, amen. And we just want to give those uh, listening a shout out this morning to let you know how much, how much we appreciate you, okay? And that's what we do here. We give you a shout out to let you know how much we love you and how much we appreciate you. And first of all, we would love to start with the Lone Star State of Texas this morning. And Texas, my home state, we would love to thank you for having your end zone. And that is Houston and Brandon this morning. Good morning to you and thank you for having your end zone. And then that is the great state of Ohio, O-H-I-O, the Buckeye State. Uh, they are listening to, and that is Columbus, Ohio. Good morning to you, Columbus. Thank you for having your ears on. Amen. And amen. All right, all right, all right. And then there's Massachusetts. Massachusetts have their ears on, too. And we would just love to thank you, Massachusetts, for having your ears on. We love you. Keep up the good work, Massachusetts. And that's Dennis, Massachusetts. Good morning to you. And then also the great state of Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I, I think they once used to say M-I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, crooked letter, I, humpback, humpback, Mississippi, I. They are listening to it, Mississippi. We would love to thank you for listening and say good morning to you. And that is Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. <laughs> and also the great state of California. California, the home state of Chris Edwards. Amen. <laughs> and others in the family, sure. <laughs> Not just Chris Edwards. And, but we just appreciate Chris because he... One was our co-anchor co here. We appreciate him very much for doing the work and still working uh, for our program here. And I appreciate Brother Chris Edwards, Edwards uh, spreading the news and uh, being a representative of God's kingdom uh, very, very much. And that is California. And that is Oakland and St. Pablo. Good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, Californians. And then the great state of Arizona, Arizona, Arizona. Uh, they are listening to, and that's Mesa, Arizona. Good morning to you, Mesa, Arizona. We thank you for having. Are your ears on. And then, 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 then. <laughs> All right, brother. Then our brothers across the way. And uh, we would love to begin with the country of India. Uh, they are listening to, and that is Mesitra and Telangana. 
Nasha and Telangana in India. We would love to say good morning to you, and we love you and thank you for having your ears on. And the country of Malawa, Malawa, they are listening to, and that is the central region of Malawa. Good morning to you, Malawa, and thank you for having your info. And then there is the country of Singapore, Singapore. Brother Oscar, we just love to thank you also for having your ears on, and good morning. And Russia, Russia, we wanted to thank you for having your ears on too, and we, uh, you know, we, we hope that, you know, things get better for you between the countries and war ceased and all that good stuff. And we want to just say good morning to our Russian brothers and sisters. And that is Moscow and the Justin. We just want to say thank you and good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Amen and amen. And then the country, Gaina, 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 Gaina. Good morning to you, Gaina. We just want to thank you for having your ears on. And that is, uh, 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 what is it? <laughs> what is it, Brother Oscar? That is Accra, Gaina. We just want to say good morning to you. And thank you for having your ears on. <laughs> And also Ukraine, 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 Ukrainians, we just want to uh, thank you also and say good morning to you and thank you for having your ears on. And we would like to tell you, keep the faith, keep the faith in our Father, which is above, because he is our, he is our. Uh, Jara, and he sees and he provides. So we just need to keep faith in him. And once we keep faith in him, everything will be just fine. <laughs> and the country of Belarus, they are listening to and that is Nick City. Thank you and good morning to you, Nick City. And we just want to thank you for having your ears on. And my friend, that was your roll call. This morning, your roll, roll, roll call. It is time for our snapshot for today. Our snap, snap, snapshot. Hey, 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 it's that time. For our snap, 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 sock. And uh, we are so delighted to to uh, let you know what you are in store to hear, hear on Chatting from the Word. Is it all right? We'll give you just a, a, a pension, a little bit of a review, a preview, preview of what we have in store 
for you to listen to this morning. Ever Oscar, hope that it is. Amen. And uh, a amen again. Uh, you heard our introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And I could only phantom, my friend, if it would not have been, I'd be for the grace of God, where would you and I be? Amen. And amen. God's grace and mercy. And that's before our prayer time. And of course, readings are compelled with these singing, a sweet hour of prayer to get us in the mood for our uh, prayer time. Amen and amen. And yes, we are showcasing a beautiful song this morning. Yes, we are. We are showcasing a very beautiful song this morning. And that's going to be Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany Malone. And she's going to be singing, Why Me? Why did you bless me so uh, Lord, why do I have a roof over my head, clothes on my back, and food in my stomach, and a little ting ting in my pocket? <laughs> Brother, a little money in my pocket. And she, she, she figured it all out. She said, God bless me so that I can be a blessing to others. And if you're wondering why you're blessed so much, that's why. Are you being a blessing to others? And that's the question you need to ask yourself. So we're going to be allowing Tiffany Malone to let us know why us or why me. Amen and amen. Yes, yes, yes. You don't need to ask Brother Oscar. Yes, we are chatting today. Yes, we are. And I, I don't know if you... <laughs> I'm just thinking here, but I'm not sure if you are, are, are getting restless, uh, I guess... Uh, that's the word Ravasi can use of hearing our lesson. Because I believe that we need to hear about our collection because uh, many of us have, uh, you know, have our own way of thinking. Who should get help? Who should we pay? Uh, all that. So we want to really dig deep into collection for the saints and truly see what Paul is talking about here in the first letter he wrote to the Corinthian church and in chapter 16, which is the last uh, part here that Apostle Paul is trying to let the, uh, the Corinthian know because uh, looking back at the Corinthian church, Corinthian church has so uh, many problems and one of them was helping the ministry. So here Paul is trying to strive, uh, 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 try to drive a point uh, to the Corinthian church and to us today who is stuck on uh, low drive. But when I say low drive, low love, no love to, to some of us when it talks about helping people. And some of us, we just don't want to help nobody. We think all that money's here we collected thousands and thousands of monies at church Sunday, a lot of us make thousands and thousands of dollars a week, and we all keep it in our pocket and don't want to give to nothing or help the world to see Christ in any form. And I'm just preaching truth. I'm just talking truth. And you know that is the case. Amen, Brother Oscar. Amen. And my friend, that was your snapshot. Of the program this morning, your snap, 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 shot. Amen. And a amen. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Are you ready? Are you ready to get on board this train? The gospel of <laughs> And if you're ready to get on board this train, have your tickets out, lined up with your tickets out, lined up with your tickets out. And now all you need to do now 
is to get on board, get on board this ride. Are you ready to get on board this ride and ride this train? And that's all it goes This is our prayer time, and uh, if you 
have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to uh, pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to my email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com, or you can send it to Chatting from the Word at uh, gmail.com, or you can put it on our Messenger page. On Facebook, we should be able to receive your prayer request there. Or you can put it on any networks that you're listening to the program through. Or you can put it on uh, the show on our on our Facebook page when we share the show on our Facebook page uh, with you on the on a personal basis. So you can always have an avenue uh, uh, to put your prayer request. And if you have a, a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, uh, that's fine with us here on uh, Chatting from the Word, because we do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, uh, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And I'd be just so delighted and so blessed to do uh, just that. Amen and amen. And my friend, again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to uh, pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to us here on Chatting from the Word. And as always, we want you to keep your prayers. Those that have been requesting our prayers, uh, those that uh, are going through some difficult times, those that have lost loved ones, uh, the world itself, with all its chaos and uh, different ways of looking at things, you know, right or wrong, <laughs> okay? And, of course, the Russia-Ukraine situation, we especially uh, want to pray for them. They are our listeners. They are our brothers in Christ. So we want to pray for that uh, situation as well. And, of course, pray for those that are trying to make a difference when it comes to the gospel of uh, Jesus Christ. And also pray for your brother here. Pray for Brother Oscar that he may stay healthy and, and uh, I ain't going to say wealthy because I'm not wealthy. Far from it. I just healthy enough, I guess, to keep this uh, fine program going and going. And I believe I forgot to tell you what scripture we are going to be using for our, our prayer time scripture, but we're going to be coming from Philippians, uh, the first uh, chapter, verses 3 through 8. That's Philippians, the first chapter, verses 3 through 8. And if you have a copy of God's Word and you want to uh, read along with us, you are uh, welcome to do uh, just just that. I hear Brother Paul, the apostle, penned these words to the Philippian church. He says, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making request with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, of you all, because I have you in my heart in as much as both in my bonds and in the defense of the confirmation of the gospel. You all are my partakers. You all are partakers of my grace. For God is my record how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. Here Paul is it is just 
thanking the Philippians for their prayers and he letting them know that I'm praying for you all too, Philippians. And we should all pray for one another because we all we all stand in need of prayer. All of us. We all go through our ups and downs and and our desert times and times that we just don't know what to do. Uh, that's all of us. Don't think that anyone is exempt. None of us are exempt. None of us are perfect. We all need Jesus Christ. And when you get at the point where you are perfect and that you know everything, you're dead, man. You're dead. <laughs> you're dead, and I hope you're dead in the Lord. But none of us, none of us are perfect. We all, we all stand in need of prayer, and we all need Jesus. So, my friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a little talk with the Father this morning? Are you ready? Let's go to him humbly. <laughs> Excuse me. Our <clears throat> most high God, our Father who says hi <clears throat> and looks low. Father, we thank you so much, Father, for allowing us to call you our Father, for allowing you, Father. For, for talking with you at this time. Father, we recognize that you are Jehovah Jireh. Father, you see it and you provide. And Father, we just want to thank you for providing all of us on this time side of life with another day, with another chance to make what's wrong in our life right and to walk closer and closer with you. Father, we come to you specially, thanking you in a special way, Father, for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to help us to connect with you and him taking upon himself the cross, becoming sin, who knew no sin, so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we thank you so, so much for that. And Father, we come praying for the world itself, Father. We recognize, Father, that this world stands in far distance from you. But Father, we just pray that the world, that the world, that the world, that the world just stop all this chaos, all this confusion, and look up to you, Father, for his help, for some assistance, to help, for help in the time of need. But Father, we just know it's not possible. But for us at all, looking up for you, Father looking towards you. Help them to stay with you in the name of Jesus. Help those that truly want to find you, to find you and to be translated into your son's kingdom. Oh, Father, 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 we pray, we pray, Father. We pray, Father, for the Russian Ukraine situation. Father, we pray that there be a cease in that war. We pray that like minds come together and let you speak and have peace over that region. Oh, Father, 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 we just pray, we just pray, Father. We just pray, Father, for those that lost loved ones, Father. We pray that you conquer them. Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones at the hands of police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer family who has given their lives in a line of duty. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for our political leaders at this time. Father, we pray that they have make laws for 
from worshiping you, but may glory for all can live in peace and in harmony. Father, 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 we pray for the church once again. Allow the church as a whole to be, allow the church as a whole, Father, to, to be a lighthouse leading others to Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for all of our listeners this morning, Father. We pray for all their doubts and fears, Father. Father, we pray that you cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea where they won't resurface anymore. Oh, Father, 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 we just pray. We just pray, Father, for our program chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep this fine program going and going. And let those that listen to the chat this morning, Father, help us that we may say something to make uh, that view of heaven much more real. Oh, Father, 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 we pray for those that lost loved ones again. We pray for those that are going through some troubling times. Father, we pray for uh, those that try to make a difference in the world when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Father, as always, Keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. I would love to thank you for reading our scripture checks along with us, for praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we pray for something that is on your mind. All right, all right, all right. We'll be right back with the second half of the program after this message. All right, all right, all right, all right. We are back, we are back, and we're so delighted to uh, be back with you and to bring this program on. And this is our second portion of the program. And Brother Oscar recognized most is not going to be listening to the second part. And, but you all that have uh, listened to it and, and you're still with us, we just want to uh, thank you for having your ears on and keeping. Uh, your ears on. We just want to uh, thank you so much for that. Again, we're going to ask for your contributions, and if you can give anything to help us out to keep this fine program going and going, we hope that you can do that today. Amen. And amen. If you have not turned in your contributions as of yet, you can do it at paypal.com. Put in Brother Oscar's email address, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com, or you can go to Zell, Z E L L B and again put in Brother Oscar's email address, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. We hope you can do it today. We would love to thank you in advance for your generous gift. Yes, thank you. And thank you. Amen. And a amen. This portion of the program to allow you to know where you can listen to the program. Of course, you can go to your Play Store and download Spreaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look up Chatting from the Word hosted by Oscar. Many of our shows should appear. You can listen to show you desire, even today's show. Our other networks we come on is Audrey, Music Download, VLC. Lab, GeoSound, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Alexa Media Player, PodPlayer.net, Chrome WebView, Bullhorn, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcast, Cashbox, Podcast Addicts, Spreaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. If you are listening to the program on YouTube, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Now back to your brother Oscar. Hey, 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 I am here. I am here. Thank you, our announcer. Doing a great job announcing where you can uh, listen to uh, the program. 
Again, we are so delighted to be with you and to be able to bring this program on to your listening ears today. Amen. Amen. And we just want to remind you where you can. Uh, we just want to remind you what you're listening to. <laughs> you're listening to Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Three Curve platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk. And we are so, uh, so glad to do just that. Amen. Putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your uh, Christian walk. And we are so, uh, so delighted to do, to do. Uh, just that, to put that snap, crackle, and pop in your uh, Christian wall. And now, my friend, it is time for us to play our showcase song for today. Yes, it is. It is that time. And we love the singer. Uh, she does a good job, and she has a beautiful voice. And that is in the person of a sister, <coughs> Sister Tiffany Malone. And she is singing, and, and the song she sings asks a question, why me? Why me? And we want you this morning, not just why her, but why all of us, why are we are so blessed? And here she is, Tiffany Malone. Why? Why me? And I thank you for all blessings from on high. Yeah. Every time I sin and I count on my blessings, I'm overwhelmed at all the God He does for me. He's given me life. Help and strength, my friends, my family, and all the good and perfect gifts supplies all of my needs. So I wonder how it makes God feel when we begin to doubt Him and we ask Him why do the trials come my way? Say no matter. Comes or goes, still God is in control. So whether rain or shine, here is what I have learned to say. Yeah. Why me? Why did you wake me up this morning? Why me? Why is my family doing fine? You see, I know somebody. Else is hurting deep inside, so I thank all the blessings from on high. Yeah. God, I love the way you lead, guide, and protect me, even when things don't go the way I think they should. Still, you are my father. And I know you love and care for me And even the trials of life are working for my good then I realize that there are those who don't even know you They don't know about your mercy and your grace so I wonder to myself, how could you save a friend of me? That's when I smile and then I lift my hands and 
So God, please use me every day of my life. The only reason, you're the reason for all the things I'm on. Amen. Amen. And hey, man, that was Sister Tiffany Malone. Why me? Why me? Why am I? I'm so blessed. He blessed you so that you can be a blessing to others. And by helping others, you're sowing a seed. You're sowing a seed so others may come to Christ. See, a lot of us, we, we don't look at it like that. But when, when God's main source for man is, God's main source for man is, Oh, when God first made man, he made man so man can worship him. I think sometimes we, we forget that point because we get our minds so tied up with everyday living that we forget the purpose, the true purpose God made you and I for. And that is to give him glory, praise, and honor in obedient to him. And now he wants us, since Christ died on the cross, he wants us now to hear his son and be obedient to the cross of Jesus Christ. You know, being obedient to the cross of Christ, and I, I'm going to end it here because I'm, I'm not going to say stay this this long because I want to get to the lesson, but being obedient to Christ on the cross is not just about wearing a cross. It's about the life you live. Because I see so many people wearing a cross, and then they turn around cursing and waving a gun in somebody's face, or believing this, or believing that. And they're not true to the cause of Christ. And I don't believe in wearing a cross. I believe in living for Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I had to just say that. I, I just had to put that in there. We'll be right back in the few after this message with the chat. We'll be back with the chat after this uh, message. Here is our brother Oscar with the chat. The collection for the saints. Let's give continues. Hey, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Let's move on, y'all. Time is of the essence. And you just 
we really want to get the, the message across to you about the collection. Uh, for the saints, and we hope that you have your ears on and that you're listening and that you're learning from the uh, chats that we have been having over the years, months, and days here, and that we have truly been an inspiration to you so that you may see heaven much more clearer. Um, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Most know what the favor is. If you're at home, go on and get relaxed. Go on and have a favor, uh, a cup of your favorite drink, morning drink, coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate, uh, whatever it may be, and get relaxed. Now, if you relax in your reclining chair, go ahead on and recline out. If you relax at your uh, coffee at your dinette table, go ahead on and pull up a chair and sit at the coffee table. But what we want to ask you, the favor we want to ask you is to have your Bibles out, not just have them out, have them open to what we're talking about, and of course, have an open mind. And we hope that you have that open mind this morning. Yes, we do. Because here on Chatting from the Word, we just don't teach, we just don't preach. But what we do, we chat about the Word of God. That's right. We're chatting about the Word of God. Because we don't want to talk around you, over you, under you. But what we are attempting to do is to reason with you when it comes to the Word of God. Can Brother Oscar reason with you uh, this morning when it comes to the Word of God? Can I do that? Now, I, I must admit that I'm not the smartest cookie in the world. No, by far. And I even have said many dozens of times, if I'm wrong about what I said, contact me. Let me know where I'm wrong at, but at the same time have book, chapter, and verse of what you're trying to prove. Not no commentaries, because it all depends on who the commentary is written by, uh, the views of thoughts you may have. Not something that mama and daddy or grandpa or grandmother have told you over the years, but what is truly contained in the Word of God. Because that's what we're talking about, what is contained in the Word of God. Because many of us have been, our minds are so have been so seared when the truth comes out, we don't recognize the truth for truth's sake. A lot of us, we just kind of do not recognize the truth today. And, and to be honest with you, if we are going to go to heaven, uh, being in the truth and listening to the truth, that's important. Uh, it, it's important. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Nobody's perfect. I know I'm not. I have faults. But but I'm allowing the Lord to use me in a positive way to tell you and others about Jesus Christ and him crucified. I'm far from perfect. I need Christ myself because I recognize that we are all, that we are all saved by grace. You and I, you and I, and you're no different from me. You sin like I sin. So, so take, uh, take your perfect glasses off. You're not perfect. Neither am I. We all have needs. We all have desires. We all sin. That's why we're saved by grace. And this old boy at times, yeah, I call up to the Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, to overcome some of these things that's bothering me. I cry to him. And that's all we all should do is have a talk with the Lord. Sometimes the Lord keep us in a situation so that we can call to him. Oh, I know Brother Oscar, he calls to him every day, every minute, and every second. And Paul said, pray without ceasing? Oh, man, believe me or not, I pray without ceasing. Some people, you always got to be on your knees. And sometimes my knees hurt. So sometimes I'm sitting in my chair praying, laying in my bed praying. Eating, praying. <laughs> All right, Brother Oscar. All right. Of course, we're talking about the collection for the saints. We're in uh, the first letter that Brother Paul 
the apostle wrote to the uh, Corinthian church. And we're on the last uh, segment of this letter, uh, that's chapter 16. And in chapter 16, Paul was talking about the collection for the saints. And we all drop down to verse 3 through 6. And I'm going to read it for Ephesus' sake so that we may get a more clarification of where we are. And here Brother Paul says, When I come, who shall ye shall approve, approve by your letters, then will I sin to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem. And if it be me that I go on, so they shall go with me. Now I will come unto you when I shall pass through Macedonia, for I do pass through Macedonia. And it may be that I will buy yea a winter with you that ye may bring me on my journey wheresoever I go. And but what we must understand, the reason why Paul, Brother Paul, was writing this to the Corinthian church because the Corinthian church has so many problems. Even, <clears throat> even in their giving, even in their helping the ministries of the gospel. And here Paul, uh, we're getting ready to talk about how Paul is pleading to them to give. And Paul even, even sell his mind down to say, no, 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 if you don't give me anything to rent, that's fine, that's fine. So turn with me to again to Corinthians, First Corinthians nine, and we just want to see what Paul is saying. That because Paul is letting us know, and this is a continuation. Most may be lost where we are, but this is a continuation where we're talking about should uh, uh, ministries be supported, or should ministries be supported? Should you support evangelists? Uh, just your local evangelist. And, and that's what we're talking about now. And if you know anything about Brother Paul, the apostle, you know that he was not just a, uh, a local evangelist, but Paul went different places spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And this is what I want you all to look at and see this morning. Uh, Paul just didn't stay in one place. He went different places on his journeys, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we ask the question, if Brother Paul was alive today, what mean would he use to reach the population of people with the gospel of Jesus Christ? And I truly believe with the technology today, Paul would use a laptop and have a radio program. He may call it chatting from the word. Uh, he may call it uh, the saints. Uh, he may call it this. I may call it that. But I truly believe that Paul used any any way to convey the gospel in a mighty way. He would do that. Uh, he would use that method, and that's why we use a method today and bring on chatting from the word. To allow the world to know how Christ loved them. And this is what Apostle Paul is trying to convey to the Christian, to the Corinthian church. Now, go with me to 1 Corinthians 9. And I believe this is where we left off the last time. And in verse 14, Paul said, Even so hath the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel to live of the gospel. And, and uh, we went to Numbers 18, didn't we? And we already studied Numbers 18, how God told Aaron and Moses, the, 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 uh, the, Leviticus, the Leviticus priesthood, that they would be supported by the people. Uh, the, ten, ten, the people give 10% and a heave offering, and that's where their support would be. They won't... Uh, be working a regular job to make money, but that money will come from the people, and God wants them to be about his work in the temple. And God is the same today, and that's why Paul brings it up here. 
Paul is saying it here. He said, even, even so had the Lord ordained that they which preach the gospel to live of the gospel. And many of us, many people might say, well, that's talking about living a life. No, uh, it's talking more than just living a life, but it's talking about a way of making a living, a way of surviving, a way of making a living. The church to support ministries today. And that's my that's what I'm crying out about. The church is supporting ministries today instead of being so stingy and want to keep their money locally. We don't want to support ministries today. Yeah, we'll support our local evangelists, our local work, but what about work that going all around the world? What about that? Are you willing to support that? Or do you believe it's wrong to support it? And then and Paul says in verse 15, I'm just going to read because time won't allow us to uh, say other things that I really want to say, but we'll keep them for another day. But here Paul says in verse 15, but I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that it should be so done unto me. But it were better for me to die than that any man should make me my glory in God. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. But if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. But uh, if I, against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me. What is my reward then? Very that I, that when I preach the gospel, I might make the gospel of Christ without charge, that I abuse not my power of the gospel. Now, Paul is not talking about he shouldn't get paid. But he recognized that the Corinthian church was not going to pay him for, for, uh, for what he was doing, was not going to pay him for helping them, was not going to pay him of spreading the gospel, was not going to pay him for teaching them through these letters too. And Paul just said, y'all not going to pay me anyway. So I'm not going to preach the gospel because you won't pay me, but I'm preaching it anyway to help you to see Christ in a way you should see him. And that's what Paul was talking. Paul was not saying he, he shouldn't get paid. Pay, Paul was paid. And we're going to talk about that next time. Paul was paid for the services he was doing for the Corinthian church. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Paul was paid. See, like I said, the Corinthian church just needed help just needed the right guidance to give right. And this is what Paul is talking about here. And we're going to discuss it some more tomorrow because time won't permit us to, to say all we need to say. But like I said, that we are studying this thing out exhaustively. And most might be saying, Brother Oscar, I wish you'd hurry up. <laughs> Let's get to the next step. <laughs> but we're going to continue on studying this thing about collection until we until we can, we can bring out all what we need to bring out about the collection for the saints. And we hope that you join us tomorrow in our continuation of our lesson talking about the collection for the saints. And we'll be right back with the closing after this a message. All right, all right, all right. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> Are you glad I'm back? <laughs> Amen, brother Oscar. I'm back, but we need to get on out of here. We appreciate 
uh, spending the morning with you. We appreciate you keeping your ears on. My time has been forced that, and we must get on out of here. And we really enjoy being with you today. And again, we hope that you enjoy us coming to your home. You, uh, if you listen to us on the job, uh, as you exercise or wherever you may be, listen to the program. We just want to thank you for listening. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which are in heaven, allow be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, thy will is in thy Father. We thank you for allowing us to bring this program to the airways, Father. Help us to keep this program on the air, preaching and teaching of your word. Father, we pray for those who have listened this morning. We pray that they will walk with that snap, crackle, and pop with each step that they take, showing the world Christ in them. Now, may the grace of God, sweet communion, of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love somebody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.